Can you live with half of a brain? Yes, we can, and that's what happened to this six-year-old. My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch, and I am a board-certified neurosurgeon, and many of you guys sent me this article because you wanted me to explain why. Why would you need to disconnect half of a child's brain? This six-year-old was diagnosed a year ago with a rare neurological disorder called Rasmussen's encephalitis. Ras what? It's an inflammatory disease that can happen in kids that affects one side of the brain. It's incredibly rare and it affects approximately two out of every 10 million people. Most commonly, it happens in kids ages two to 10. It's most classically identified with language and cognitive problems, and it can cause seizures typically on one side of the body and weakness on one side of the body. And the first sign is usually a seizure. That can be generalized tonic-clonic seizures or even focal seizures. The seizures can become more and more frequent and medications sometimes can't even control them. Half of the kids with this disease will have continuous seizures that happen every few minutes to every few seconds. Because of this continuous spontaneous brain firing, these kids can't live a normal life. We really don't know what causes this disease, but scientists think that it's either autoimmune or infectious, like a virus that enters your brain and causes swelling. Because the seizures continue to happen, it can actually cause brain damage. So why do they disconnect the brain? You have to really understand how seizures work to begin to understand why you would do a procedure like this. A seizure arises from a damaged part of the brain where you can get spontaneous firing of neurons and that can quickly spread across the brain to cause a generalized seizure. So basically it's like a domino effect. One little neuron can make all the neurons start firing. So we need to stop this guy. Usually in a normal seizure disorder, medications can stop that domino from falling. And in this disease, sometimes immunotherapy is even used. But when both of those treatment options fail, sometimes surgeons have to step in to remove the brain that's causing the seizures. Are you kidding me? Since Rasmussen's encephalitis affects half of the brain, that means half of the brain has to be disconnected and sometimes even removed. How does somebody live with half of their brain? This type of surgery is usually done on children and the good news is there is a lot of plasticity to a child's brain. That basically means the brain can rewire. It is true that on the opposite side of the hemisphere that is disconnected or sometimes removed, they will be weak or sometimes even paralyzed. You remove or disconnect the right side, the left side will be affected. This is an eight hour operation that is done by specially trained epilepsy neurosurgeons. After rehab, these kids can be seizure free and go on to live happy lives. The brain is a really cool organ and even as neurosurgeons, sometimes we don't even understand it.